This project basically began because I'd been traveling to China a fair amount, essentially because China became very interested in Broadway-style shows. I visited a um, art center, a brand new art center, in 2005, where everything was amazing. Uh, it's, uh, Brazilian woods and Italian marbles and a Japanese sound system, except for these terribly translated signs. So, for instance, the handicapped restroom would say, deformed man's toilet. When you first looked at this, did you think Broadway play? Wow, when I first looked at the play, I thought, I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, I have to say, it is such an extraordinary piece of work. I really wanted to write about the sort of barriers and misunderstandings that happen across cultures, both in terms of language and in terms of just the way different cultures look at different ideas. The, the idea of a desperate American who goes to China to try and sell signage to the Chinese government feels like an important story that is really current and really of the moment. When I wrote this play, I thought, oh, it might be amusing, it might be, you know, might, we might get some chuckles, and we really got huge laughs very consistently um, throughout most of the play in Chicago. And I think what it taught me is that the audience finds it really satisfying that they know everything that's being said on stage, but not all the characters understand what each other's saying because not all the characters, uh, the, the, the Chinese characters understand English and vice versa. It's exciting and it's relevant and people are gonna just love it. If I can figure out how I can get them to understand what the actors are saying. Um, certainly the translation part of it has been really tricky and has turned out to be one of the most exciting and theatrical and satisfying elements of the production, I believe.